The passage of time is a blessing. The passage of time is terrifying. I think living with a chronic and fatal illness changes you. There are about 2,000 different mutations of cystic fibrosis, and there have been these game-changing breakthroughs that have affected roughly 90% of the CF population. But I have a nonsense mutation, and none of the breakthroughs were for people like me. Urgency is what Emily's entourage is all about. We're not trying to just cure Emily. We're trying to find a breakthrough for everybody who has a nonsense mutation. They're beautiful, valuable lives, and they're dying and they've got dreams, and they've got families, and they've got hopes, and they've got wishes, and we need to find a breakthrough quickly. I feel the pressure of time with every single breath I take on behalf of my own disease and on behalf of every single person fighting this disease, and that's our motivation. There's an unmet need for curing nonsense mutations for CF patients. One of the most important things that Emily's entourage has done is bring together the research community, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies, and have a discussion about how can we move new ideas and move new therapeutic strategies forward to get to a cure as fast as we can. We have nine active research projects that are going on around the world. We also just held a scientific symposium with 47 of the top researchers and companies from all around the world and really believe that this is just the beginning. I think this is quite unusual to have such a small organization assemble groups of people with expertise and get very hands-on in the research environment and get them rowing in the same direction. I think it's quite unique. It's due to Emily's enthusiasm, passion, and the importance of her mission, not just for her, but for other people with rare mutations in CF. I honestly didn't have that much hope for a cure or control in my lifetime for my specific mutation. And now that I'm connected with Emily's entourage, I have so much more hope because I see the incredible progress that's being made and the amazing way that they're approaching research and development. To hear that 90% of people with CF will have a, a magic pill, as my son calls it, in the next year or two is something I never would have guessed would have happened when my son was diagnosed. But my son is in that last 10%, and we are so afraid that he is going to get left behind. We need money to fund more research. We're so close, and we've got the top, most preeminent scientists in the world, and we're so close to finding a breakthrough. We are fighting with our heart and our soul for breakthroughs that will save and improve the lives of everyone with a nonsense mutation of CF. We would like to be at a cure as soon as possible. Can we do that in one year? That's unlikely. Can we do it in five? Yeah, yeah, that's the goal. We're so close to finding a breakthrough for the final 10%. That gives me hope. The people that have rallied behind Emily's entourage are the most special people in the universe, and they're all people who believe that the future can be better and that it's up to each one of us to get there.